Hi, this is Matt with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we'll be showing you how to repair your appliance. Remember, anytime you work on an appliance, make sure it's unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there's no chance of electrocution. In this video, we're going to show you how to change out the KitchenAid refrigerator air diffuser. It's going to be a very easy repair and it should only take a few minutes to show you how to do it. If you already have one of these, great. If not, you can click on the link below or get it at AppliancePartsPros.com. When you open up the package, you're going to get the new air diffuser. The air diffuser is located in the wall in between the freezer and the refrigerator and it's what allows the cold air to go from the freezer to the refrigerator. The main reason to be changing it out is if it's failed, either in the open or closed position in the refrigerator section is not at the right temperature. In order to change the part, the first thing we have to do is open up the refrigerator door. With the refrigerator door open, we can reach in with our Phillips screwdriver and remove the screws that hold these covers on. Once you have this cover off, there's one wire holding that in there. That's the thermistor. You can just leave that there. And then we can go over to the freezer section and take out the covers on that side. Once you have it open, you can take the stuff off the top two shelves and pull those shelves out and set them aside. All you have to do is lift up on them and then pull them out. Once you have them out, you can set them aside. We're gonna take a piece of tape and tape this ice maker cover out of the way so we can see inside there. Now that we have the door taped up, we can take out the air duct and the access panel on the back. We're going to take the access panel off first. It's held in by a couple clips to the back wall. So we're just going to take a putty knife and get behind it and release them. Once you have it out a little bit, you can just reach in with your hand and undo the other one. Once you have it released, you can pull it down and out of the freezer. With the back panel out of the way, we can remove the air duct. We're going to use our quarter inch nut driver and remove these two screws that hold it to the top of the freezer. As you're taking the second screw out, you want to reach in and grab it so it doesn't fall. Or you're going to drop the back half down and kind of roll it out so it doesn't hit the ice maker. Now that we have access to the air diffuser on the freezer side, we have to pull out this little air duct. It's just snapped in there. All you have to do is pull it out and set it aside. And then to remove the air diffuser, there's four locking tabs that you kind of got to grab with all your fingers at once and pull them into the center and then push it through to the fresh food section. So once you have them released like this, then you can reach in with your other arm and pull it out through the refrigerator side. Now that we have the assembly out from the center wall, we can disconnect the wire harness. It's just held in by one little tab right here. All you have to do is lift up on it and pull the wire connection off. Once you have the wire harness disconnected, you can pull the air diffuser out of the refrigerator. Here's the old air diffuser next to the new one. If you already have one of these, great. If not, you can get it at AppliancePartsPros.com. First thing we're going to do is connect the wire harness to the air diffuser. There's two points where you can connect it. One doesn't have any connectors in it, so make sure you plug it into the right one, the one that has the connectors. All you have to do is grab the wiring harness and line it up and make sure you push it in all the way so the locking tab locks and holds it in place. Once you have the wire harness connected, we can mount the air diffuser in the wall. When we put the air diffuser in, we have to feed the thermistor through first. There's a little bump right here on the bottom of the uh, airway that goes in between the freezer and the refrigerator. If you follow that through, it'll actually come through the hole on the other side in the freezer. If you just throw it through the hole, when you put the air diffuser in, it's going to jam it up. So very carefully line it up with the little bump and push it through the freezer section. It should come through the hole underneath the rectangle, not through the rectangle itself. Once you get it fed through there pretty good, we can lift up the air diffuser and push it into place. Once you have the air diffuser started, you want to make sure you have enough slack in the thermistor wire to come along through this channel right here and 
Make sure that's routed like this. Once you have the thermistor in place, you can push the air diffuser in and lock it into place. Once you see all four feet lock on the other side, we can put this air vent back in. All you have to do is line it up and push it in, it'll snap in. Once you have it in place, you want to make sure that the thermistor runs down just where it was before. It can go, you know, right there next to that air vent and that little white support bar. Once you have it in place, we can put the covers back on. We're going to put the back panel and the duct in the exact opposite as when we took them out. We're going to put the duct in first and then do the back wall. So we're going to put it in here and line it up. Got to feed the front through first on top of the ice maker and then slide the back over and lift it up so we can put the screws in. With the air duct in place, we can put the back panel on. All you have to do is line it up and slide it up into the air duct little cutout there. Once you have it in place, you can push it in so it locks into those little tabs on the back wall. Now that we have the air duct installed and we don't need to see in there anymore, we can take the tape off the ice door and lower it back down. To put these shelves in, same as when we took them out, we're going to have to lift them up at an angle and get the back into the channel. Once you have it in place, you can lower it down. Once you have them both in place, we can close the door and go over to the fresh food section. On the refrigerator side, all we have to do is put the covers back on. To put this cover on, you want to make sure that this tab goes into the back wall and then we can use our Phillips screwdriver to put the screw in. Then we can put on the long cover that covers up the wires that go from the air diffuser up to the control panel. Now that we have the part installed, you can close the refrigerator door, plug the refrigerator back in, and make sure it starts to cool. Thanks for joining us for another successful repair, brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com. Check out our other repair videos on our site, Facebook, and YouTube.